Hey everybody, Steven here with the channel Red Lessons. And I have a channel called No Nonsense. My name is Gary with two R's. Gary, you're really growing your hair out. You noticed. Yeah. Thank you for doing? noticing. Absolutely. Yeah, I do what I can. <laughs> yeah, we're just joking around, guys. We got a good one today. Yeah. Gucci Guilty Oud. Yeah. I've seen a few reviews of this one online. Yes. Some favorable, some not some, so favorable. It's... You get some good ones and some people are just like, eh, they're on the fence with it, you know. Yeah. It's so personal, you know. It, absolutely. And that's the beauty of it. And I know we actually have a difference of opinion regarding this fragrance today. We do. Yeah, which we is do. awesome. Yeah. And I, I, I love when we get in front of a camera and give different, you know, different opinions on something. It just goes to show that not everybody likes all the same fragrances and that is and true. we can peacefully dis disagree on something. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like seafood? Yeah. It's delicious. What? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, I hate seafood. It's yeah, okay. I, I don't you um, know me. You want to do a, a note breakdown real quick? Yeah, let's okay. go ahead. So, um, this one, 2018 release, came out about a month ago. Uh, the perfumer is Alberto Morillas. Uh, he has done some of my favorites, including a couple by the house, or I think just one from the house of Odetelli, and he's also done Aqua di Gio by Giorgio Armani, mid-90s mm -hmm. release. And this one features notes of blackberry, patchouli, agarwood, Bulgarian rose, cypriol oil, leather, amber, and pink pepper. Just two things I okay. wanted to ask you before I ask you. One, I just want to thank Alberto Marias for coming into Gucci's life yeah. Yeah. and really revamping the brand. Yeah. Amazing what he's done. The last couple releases by Gucci, I have been very, very happy with. Yeah. As far as the, the previous Gucci Guilty line was just... Not that they were bad fragrances, but you know, they, none of them were very memorable. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, with the original Gucci Guilty, I got so many compliments wearing yeah. that thing. Like and they said, I'm, I'm not saying, they, none and, of them were bad fragrances, even Gucci Guilty Black. Oh, Gucci no, Guilty. not at all. Oh, the black with the green. You know, they're, Gucci Guilty Black, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're good fragrances, they, they smell good. But, but like you said, it other... wasn't very memorable. Right. And it's not really something that I ever craved to wear. Exactly. I'm like, man, I'm really in the mood for yes. this. It's like, it was almost like an afterthought. Like, oh, let me just, I'm in a rush. The yeah. last couple of releases are, have been super daring. Yeah. At least yeah. with Gucci That's Guilty Absolute, which is something I really love. And I would even go as far as saying, not even, it's not something you don't love. It's something you kind of don't like. You, yeah, it's I don't care for it. Okay. Yeah. And there's just something about it. it's strangely addicting to me because it has a band aid vibe, <laughs> and for some reason I really dig it. Yeah, <laughs> I really, really dig it. But um, maybe it's due to my my wrestling background growing up. Somebody told me that they made that connection where you know just mm. with sports and stuff and having the smell of a lot of cuts and scrapes. Yeah, and just med med you know medicinal things around you. Sure. That I was just like, oh, you know what? Maybe that is. Something that that triggers that I never thought of that, but yeah. it very well could be. Could be. And this one is definitely more wearable. Mm -hmm. Before we get into talking about it, the note of Cipriol, I just wanted you to explain oh. that real quick. Okay. Yeah. So Cipriol, um, it goes by a couple different names. Mm -hmm. It's called Cipriol oil. It also goes by the name Nagarmoda. Okay. And to me, it has a very culinary, smoky. And slightly vegetal vibe. Okay. So some of the fragrances that I have smelled, some of which I own that contain it, are like Gao by mm -hmm. Zerjoff from the uh, Shooting Stars collection. It's very smoky and also lasts for a long time. Mm -hmm. Royal Leather okay. by Killian also has that heliotrope, so it's a little sweet okay. as well. And it's just a super, not super smoky, it's not like birch tar or kate oil, but it has that smoky culinary vibe about it. And the, re the reason I'm asking is there is a slight smokiness to this fragrance. So that's probably what you pick up. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I do get the blackberry and patchouli. I don't get much oud. Yeah. Although I do pick up on a medicinal vibe from it. And I, I was assuming that it was the oud, 
oob. What a oob. <laughs> <laughs> it was the oud giving off that vibe. Because, you know, some ouds do go a little medicinal. Yeah. And that's where I kind of... I. Kind of pick up on the original Gucci Guilty Absolute. I know you said you that's didn't interesting. Get, you didn't yeah. get much of that, but that's how I. That's kind of how I was tying them together, and I, I really do like this. If you want to give me your thoughts on you know, what you're to. picking up, sure. So as soon as I spray it on, I definitely get that blackberry note. Absolutely, and so it kind of gives off like this plum, grape, fruity, ripe, juicy quality about it. And it's definitely my favorite part of the entire fragrance's duration. Um, okay. Sometimes I crave the intro mm -hmm. after I've been wearing it for like two hours, three yes. hours. And I always feel the need to reapply. And, it, you know, sometimes it feels like it shouldn't be like that. You mm -hmm. know, I should be able to smell the part of it that I want to smell all the way through. But I realize that's not the reality of the situation. So perhaps the base for me was a bit underwhelming, especially considering the fact that you mentioned you didn't pick up on much oud. No. And I think that one of the reasons why the price tag for this is $137 for fewer than 100 milliliters. So it's costly for, for designer fragrance. Yeah, I think the designation has a lot to do with it. But okay. I, do get, I do get the oud, um, just I'm, not the star player by any means. No, and, and I'm not saying I don't get any oud. I do right. pick up on, I'd say, I would go as far as saying I pick up on traces of oud. This is not an oudy fragrance. Exactly. I pick up on more... The blackberry in the opening, and I agree with what you said. I do wish the opening lasted much longer than what it does. After about an hour, an hour and a half, it kind of starts to settle down. It doesn't become it doesn't become an unenjoyable fragrance. It's actually I actually find it quite enjoyable. Right. But it does it does kind of flatten out. Yeah. Yeah. But even with it flattening out, I I do enjoy the fragrance as long as it does last on skin. I actually. I would even go as far as saying, you know, I really, really like this. I do look forward to putting this in my collection. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And my experience with this one, now that I've been wearing it for like a month or so, mm -hmm. is it's a really pleasant scent. Yes. Um, I like the combination of different ingredients. If you have tried the woman's rendition, I would go as far as saying this is pretty similar to it, although this packs a stronger punch. Yes. Whereas agreed. the woman's is a bit more leaning towards the floral elements of it. I've smelled both and I... I can attest to it, yeah. I awesome. And for those of you who don't know, it's the one in the kind of like magenta e bottle. Yeah, like a purplish, pinkish type of bottle. Really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is really same, cool. Indeed. Same design. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. And since the introduction of Alberto Marias as the perfumer and Alessandro Michel as a creative director, right. we see that Gucci is heading in a really favorable direction where I, I think they're taking more creative risks. I really like what they're doing. I yeah. really, really like what they're doing. <clears throat> performance performance it was a little on the subtle side okay. I've been wearing it for a while now and it's a little bit on the subtle side okay. um, for the first few hours you do notice it right <clears throat> away Excuse me. and maybe in the vicinity of like 6 hours which is what okay. you said as well yeah I get average um, nothing over the top it didn't last me you know, 15 hours but I got decent performance I wasn't upset with it right. you know, it's just shy of being Good, right. So it was it was okay. I got a solid six hours on multiple times of wearing it. Good, yeah. yeah. Almost through a work day. It it did get me through a work day. It was just by the end of the work day, it was just very very light. Right, gotcha. All in all, I think it's a pleasant scent. Um, I you know not completely my cup of tea, mm -hmm. uh, but it's one that I definitely appreciate the ingredients that are utilized in here. Right. And it's much different from other scents that you would find on the designer line. And it's not, every time you hear oud, everybody puts rose yeah. and oud together. And me personally, I'm so tired of, anytime I smell oud, it's like these, these rose oud combos. And after, after just smelling a ton of them, it's just like, okay, it's another rose oud. It's another rose oud. Right. They brought something different to the table with the blackberry note, and I, I really appreciate that. that. Yeah. As far as time of year and and how you would wear it formally, still have a problem <laughs> saying that word. Yeah. Um, so I would, as long as you're in a climate-controlled environment, I think you can wear this one all year round. Agreed. Because the projection is not beast mode, I mm -hmm. think you can wear this one in the hotter weather. Probably not on the hottest summer night of the year. No, if you were, in, if this, if it's an eighty-degree summer night, mm -hmm. I'd say you could, you know, put on, I wouldn't go 
hammer yeah, time on right. the on the sprays, but yet you can wear it. And I would uh, <clears throat> wear this one formally. Okay, that's yeah. where I would differ. I would actually go as far as saying you can wear this casually or formally because I feel that Blackberry note actually gives it a playful. Yeah, there's a playfulness to the fragrance with the Blackberry. So with that being said, I feel like you can wear this very casually out to the movies, out on it. I think this would work great as a date night fragrance. Yeah. <clears throat> Losing my voice. All of a sudden, <laughs> my voice is much. That's really all I have. Anything Anything else you want to add? No, I would just keep an eye out on the House of Gucci. Uh, like Without we said earlier, uh, they've been releasing a, a lot of really interesting stuff yes. lately. So Alberto Marias, I know, is a perfumer with a fantastic resume. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see what he has up his sleeve because, mm -hmm. you know, they're always working on the next release. Yep. And um, I'm hopefully hoping to see a new release from the House of Gucci because I think this has been flangered out. The Gucci is back on the uprise. They're gaining steam. And I agree. I would keep looking out for Gucci to put out bangers, you know, if you would say, yeah. you know, they're, they're really doing their thing right now. Yeah. And I keep an eye out is all I have. I agree. So I'm going to, I'm going to get out of here before my voice completely <laughs> goes. All right, let's so do it. with that being said, everybody like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys think. If you've tried it, if you haven't tried it, if it's something you're interested in, love to hear your thoughts on it. And I and we will see you soon with another review. Take care. Deuces.